Mexican restaurant. Yeah, so we played a, a Mexican restaurant in Hamburg a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, you know, they had the outdoor setup, you know, and whatever. But there was a bunch of, like, I'm assuming high school, maybe right out of high school, most of them were girls that, you know, we're at the show and they're all like into, uh, you're looking at me like, hey man, I'm, I'm, no, 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 wasn't like that. But, uh, that was just hype because I'd never seen them at a show. And then they're like all digging, like there, there's like a couple punk bands that played and like a hardcore band and they were all about it, you know? So I was like, yo, come on, you know, like if <laughs> get a ride down to Buffalo, you know, play more, come out to more shows, you know, it's cool seeing young people, you know what I mean? That's, that's what's going to keep the scene alive and growing and going you know it's it's cool like i see like uh younger younger bands too with one bunch of young kids shit see i can't remember anything uh thrash metal band uh nuclear nuclear winter you know what i mean those dudes were all in high school and they fucking shred you know what i mean i was like holy shit where'd these kids come from you know what i mean they fucking shred and uh yeah, you know, like they went with their their parents had to take them. We played with them in not in Rochester, uh, but up uh, up towards Rochester or whatever. We hit, we were at the rest stop on the way back, and one of the dads was like, "Hey, our kids just played with you or whatever." I was like, "Dude, that's awesome, man! They shred. That's you know, young dudes like debrained fucking shreds, dude. They're fucking brutal. They're not that young, but I don't know. They're way younger than me, so you know what I mean. So it's it's that's always good, man. It just keeps uh." keeps rolling man got to get the got got to get the youngins in there you know what i mean get them get them uh get them exposed to it young and you know hopefully like like how i was after i saw my first show i was like Phew. like i'm going to i want to see live bands all the time forever you know that's cool to hear that like women and girls or whatever are <laughs> you started smiling i said high school girls hey i wasn't <laughs> wasn't that it was that you know it was like they're you know what i mean young girls with blue hair you know like all right you're the you know cool. i don't want to say the weirdo but you're the you know you you're the weirdo in your high school or whatever so get out to meet the other weirdos down in buffalo go to keep going to shows you know what i mean i think just in general like that's one thing that at least i've talked to people recently were like Metal has always been a thing where, like, there's a lot of dudes, but at least recently, I mean, there's, like, I went to Maryland Death Fest, like, a quarter yeah. of the people there were women. Yeah, yeah, it seems that like women are in a lot more singing for bands. That shirt that I was wearing yesterday, that Komei Mierda band, the girl, the, we played with them at Soup. Female singer, played with a bunch of bands with female singers, more girls at shows, you know, it was always a, yeah, it was a, a dude fest back in the day. There'd be a select few girls here and there they would always go to shows but it was primarily a bunch of just sweaty fucking <laughs> sweaty fucking dudes all the time so yeah that's there's definitely a lot a lot more uh, definitely a lot more girls into it that yeah that's awesome um all right so <laughs> okay so oh boy here we go <laughs> uh this could be a funny one. Oh jesus <laughs> uh, how would you describe the landscape of uh where we live and how it impacts like your sound and anthropic like would you say that be uh, buffalo is a beautiful place <laughs> i love buffalo it's <laughs> but i was just talking about this shit. it's just it's i mean it's an old rust belt town it's just old and fucking beat up and i i just don't understand why people get stuck on like like the with those uh grain mills grain elevators the shit half fell down in a storm and they refused to they're like fighting to keep them it's like oh they're from the 1800s or something though and they were the first electric ones fucking tear that shit down and build something nice buffalo's so stuck in this th you know what i mean like I get shit like I just I was just talking about the other day, like the the old train terminal. You know what I mean? That's like a fucking beautiful piece of art building. Okay, do something with that. I understand, but those fucking grain elevators, like, knock that shit down, man. You know, like we have like this huge waterfront, and then like waterfronts like the prime property, and Buffalo has a fucking throughway running along it, and and Bethlehem steel and burned out old. Sh 
knock that shit down and do something nice i just don't it's it drives me nuts man so i don't know if that <laughs> maybe that does but, but i don't know maybe that does affect our sound some i i, I don't know i I don't know if our environment creates it necessarily, other than just we just love heavy music. I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't know. Maybe that is built into me. See how pissed off I got? Look, talking about the fucking, those stupid fucking grain elevators. I just, yeah, shit like that drives me nuts. I don't know. It's, so maybe snow? it is. Would you say the snow? Uh... Dude, I told you I moved to Florida for 13 years. So that was, you know, when I was like 19, I was like, I'm fucking done with Buffalo. I got to get the hell out of here. I lived down in the, Tampa Bay area for like 13 years and then that shit got old I moved back and uh yeah the snow <sighs> deal with it the best you can you know go to Kissing Bridge Holiday Valley try to make fun out of it but it shit gets old man <laughs> it's uh yeah, it's it's one thing I don't like about Buffalo the fucking the last three months of winter just drive you freaking crazy but yeah <laughs> well would you say that that like is kind of driven you to be in a band just the fact of like uh those three months like what do you do other than <sighs> yeah exactly no that dude i'm thankful for the band because of that because <laughs> that's like yeah winter time gets fucking depressing dude. you know what i mean it's like cold and it's like this shit it's never gonna end and then you know you go snowboarding for a couple of months and then that melts and then you just deal with it for the next few so definitely the yeah like every winter over the last six years has been like we all get together and we write play a show here and there we don't really try to do too much driving outside of the city and all that stuff during the winter times the snow and i don't want to die so <laughs> we're old now we think about that shit you know back back in the day we're just like go who fucking cares you know but but uh yeah it definitely keeps our uh, sanity that's always been our kind of ritual over the last uh few years play as much as we can spring summer fall winter time comes around write just focus on writing and then record because we're doing now so yeah it's That's pretty exactly cool what I, I need that answer just like people I, I'm, I'm like weaving the whole winter into this like people <laughs> it's fucking miserable well, dude. it has a lot to do with bands man because like to me like that's my most creative time i'm just like stuck in the fucking house but it has to do with the fact that we live in buffalo yeah you got to do something with that time i mean seriously it's like i live in florida and it's exact opposite summertime so fucking hot you don't do anything but you get in the air conditioning you can do, still do some stuff but like winter time here man it's like five below zero and you're like shit i ain't going anywhere you know what i mean so it's motivation to yeah bands the motivation to you know get together right do all that stuff so yeah so, definitely so a couple more here this one yeah you can think for a second um, <laughs> uh, i pass 